So in this next activity, we're gonna think, okay? So let's see. Complete these answers and questions with the words or with these words. Is there, are there one and some, okay? Okay, the first one? Can someone do the first one? Nice. Is there, ah, nice. What about the answer? Yes, there's one. Are there any mailboxes? Yes, and the last one? Yes, there are some. Cool, nice. So, um, this question, when can we use the question, is there a? This might give you the answer. Yes, nice. When we want to ask about one thing, so, if we want to ask about one thing, we use, is there a? Okay, nice. And what about, are there any? Do you know? Yes, when we want to ask about two or more things. How do you ask a question about plural things like ATMs? Do you know the answer? Yes. Are there any? Yes. Are there any ATMs, remember, where the place where you can get money? Mm, money. So, are there any? So, remember, for questions we use, is there a and are there any? What about statements? What about statements? Remember the rule, just switch the words and then you have it. Yes, there is and there are. So what do these all mean? If I ask a question about is there, are there, well, what does that mean? Very good. To say something exists. Okay, for example, to say something exists in, in our city, a convenience store. Exactly. Is there a convenience store around here? Very good. Now, let's check. Can someone summarize what I've just said? Nice explanation. So, we need to remember always that we have the questions. Is there a? Are there any? There is, there are. And we use these examples to say something exists. All right. So, let's see these examples. Can you see it? So, what word comes after theirs? There's one. Very good. And what word comes after that are? The answer? Very good. Okay. So, one and some. Very good. So, what grammar pattern do questions follow? Okay, so we have is there plus a or n plus a singular noun, and then we have are there plus any plus plural noun. Nice. Very good. Now, what about answers? Do you guys know? Very good. Yes, you have the answer. Like, mm -hmm. yes, plus there plus E plus R, remember if it's singular or plural, yeah, no, there, isn't, and aren't, very good, cool, so, is there a coffee shop store near you? Yes, there's one on Fifth, on fifth Street, there are uh, any mailboxes around, are there any mailboxes around here? Yes, there are some just across the street, okay, so, in the affirmative, 
you don't have to repeat the noun in the answer. As you see, you don't have to repeat the noun. What noun? Yes, coffee shop. Very good. So we don't repeat the noun. We can use, but we don't have to. So we use the word one. Exactly. Are there any mailboxes around here? Yep. We use the word some. Nice. So one can replace a singular countable noun. And the pronoun some can replace plurals. Perfect. So remember, one replaces singular countable nouns and some replaces plural nouns. Remember this. One replaces a singular countable countable noun. Right? Cool. So, is there coffee shops on here? Yeah. No, there isn't one. No, there aren't. Very good. Now, what about negatives? In negative, you can use short answers. This is a short answer. No, there isn't. And in negative, you can add one or any. Very good. If you want to. So, remember, these parentheses are optional. Okay? These words are optional. If we want to use them, if we want to use them, fine. If we don't want to use them, that's fine. Okay? You can use it so you can practice. Okay? I would recommend you to practice with these words so you kind of get the idea. Perfect. Nice. All right. So, can you complete this? Let's see. The pronoun can replace a singular countable noun. The pronoun mm, can replace a plural noun. You knew it. One, very good. And the other one, the pronoun, very good. So first, remember, the pronoun, one, let's see, can replace a singular countable noun. And the pronoun, some, can replace a plural noun. Yes. Now, I have some pictures. Oh, I have a picture from the book. Here's the references. Okay. So we have behind, in front of, next to, between, inside, outside, on first street, the name of the street, on Fifth Avenue, on First Avenue. So remember, on and the name of the street. The next one, on the corner of, you say the streets or the avenues, on the corner of Main and First. Remember, two, you mentioned two in this one. And we have across the street, from, or we can use opposite. Okay, cool. Now, what you're going to do is give me examples about the places we can find nearby using the location expressions. For example, there is a drugstore on the corner of Main and Fourth. There are some mailboxes inside the mall. So try to think, create examples using these words and give me examples about our area, yeah, our city. So could you do that? Nice. So, yeah, we good? Nice. Very good. So, do you guys have this in mind? Do you, do you, do you understand it? Perfect. So remember, one replaces the singular countable noun and some replaces a plural noun. Very good. So, no questions. We're going to practice a little bit. Okay, so you.